In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a frequency polygon. So in this problem, we're given the income distribution data, let's say of a few individuals in a certain town. And we want to make a frequency polygon using an interval width of 20k, where k is 1000. And we're going to start from 20k. Since looking at our list of data, there's no income below 20k in this example. So the first thing we're going to do is make a table. In the first column, I'm going to put the income ranges. And in the second column, I'm going to write the frequency values that correspond to the income ranges. So the first range is going to start from 20k and it's going to go to 40k. Now the second range is going to go from 40k to 60k. Now you might be wondering, let's say if we have a value of 40k, does it fall in this range or in this one? Now the way we're going to define it is going to be like this. So for the first interval, it's going to include 20k but it's not going to include 40k. The second interval will include 40k, but not 60k. So 40,000 would fall in this range, not the first one. As an inequality, you can write it this way. Let's say I represents income. So the income is between 20k and 40k. But as you can see, it doesn't include 40k. For the second range, this is going to be between 40k and 60k. So here it includes 40k, but not 60k for the second range. And so that's how we're going to set up our income ranges. Now for the next level, it's going to be between 60 and 80. And then it's going to be between 80 and 100. And finally, between 100 and 120. Now we don't have anything higher than 120. The highest income in our list is only 115K. So we can stop here. Now let's determine the frequency for these income ranges. So how many individuals have an income between 20 and 40K? So this is the first one, that's 32. Here is the second one, 25. This is the third one, 39 and then 26k and 25,000. So we have five individuals with an income range between 20 and 40k. Now what about between 40 and 60k? So we have one, two, three, and let's see, four. So four individuals earn an income between 40 and 60,000. So the frequency is 4. Now between 60 and 80, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now between 80 and 100, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And finally, between 100 and 120, we only have these two values. So the frequency is two. So now that we've constructed our frequency distribution table, we need to do something else before we can make a frequency polygon. So we're gonna add another column. We need to determine the midpoint of the income ranges. So what is the midpoint between 20 and 40K? To find the midpoint, you need to add the two numbers, the lower bound value and the upper bound value, and then divide by 2. 20 plus 40 is 60, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 60 divided by 2 is 30. So the midpoint is simply the number in between 20 and 40, which is 30. Now the midpoint between 40 and 60, that's going to be 50. You could use the same formula to get the same answer. The midpoint between 60 and 80 is 70. 
and the midpoint between 80 and 100 is 90. And the midpoint between 100 and 120 is 110. So now that we have the midpoint values for our class width or our income ranges, now we can construct the frequency polygon. So let's make a graph. On the y-axis, we're going to plot our frequency values. On the x-axis, we're going to plot the income values. So this is going to be 30k, and then 50, and then 70k, and then 90, and then 110k. Now, we need a value below our lowest midpoint value and one above our highest midpoint value. So this will correspond to 10k and this will correspond to 130k when constructing a frequency polygon. And we'll talk about why in a minute. Now our frequency values, the highest is 5. So let's go up by 1. This is going to be 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5. So at a midpoint of 30k, the frequency is 5. So that's going to be here. And then at a midpoint of 50k, the frequency is 4. And then at 70k, it's also 4 as well. And then at 90k, it's back up to 5. Now at 110k, it's down to 2. So now we need to use these two values that we've introduced. For those of you who might be wondering how I got those values, here's what you can do. First, you need to realize or you need to determine the difference between the midpoint values. As you can see, they're increasing by 20K. So to get this value, you just need to take your first value, 30K, and subtract it by 20K. And that's how you get 10K. To get the last value, take 110, your highest value here, and add 20k to it. So that's how we can get these two additional points. Now, for a frequency polygon, those two new points that you've introduced into the graph, they need to start at the x-axis, which means that you need to give them a frequency value of 0. So all we need to do is draw a point on the x-axis. Now, our next step is to connect the dots with a line. So draw a straight line from one dot to the next. And so this is how we can make our frequency polygon. And that's basically it. So first, use the data that you're given to construct a frequency distribution table. That's step one. Step two is to calculate the midpoint of basically, in this case, the income ranges. Step three is to introduce a midpoint value below your lowest midpoint value and one that's above it. After that, just plot the graph and connect the dots. So that's how you can make a frequency polygon in statistics. Now, if you haven't done so already, I recommend that you subscribe to this channel. And whatever you do, if you decide to do this, don't forget to click on that notification bell. Because I'm going to post more videos in the future on statistics. And I'm going to place these videos in my statistics playlist. So when you get a chance, feel free to visit my channel and check out that playlist. I'm going to have other topics as well. Perhaps you need to know how to draw a stem relief plot or a dot plot or a histogram, or you want to know more about percentiles, quartiles, and how to calculate the interquartile range. So these are topics within the chapter that you're currently studying in statistics. Maybe you've learned them already, maybe you haven't, but if not, feel free to take a look at that. Now, I do have some other videos that are not on stats alone. For instance, let's say if you're taking chemistry, I do have videos on general chemistry and organic chemistry. 
Perhaps you need help in physics. I got videos on that as well. And I also have some math videos on like algebra, trig, precalculus, and calculus in addition to that. So if you need help in any one of those topics, feel free to take a look at my channel and you can find videos on those areas as well. Thanks again for watching.